In one, two, three, let's go. Hit the lights, it's time to start the show today. Listen, this guy, he's definitely going to be someone in the MPWA that makes a difference. He definitely works out a lot. Definitely. You know, he is... I would call him a game changer. He's, he's going to be one of those guys that you're not going to know where he's coming from right away, but he's phenomenal. He was uh, All-American in yeah. Pennsylvania. Yep. Uh, he had played through an ACL tear his senior year that was recognized by all the college uh, athletic trainers to get off the team, and he refused. He played through it. This oh. guy is tough. He's an animal. He looks like an animal. I'll tell you right now. Yeah, he kind of looks like a skunk. Is that what you feel? Oh, he has the white. Right. Here we go. Here. Listen, that guy. Oh, he'll tear me apart. I know that. Oh, I'm oh. behind the table. Oh, you know that. I know that. Oh, I mean, look at this guy. Look at me. I mean, oh, yeah. He, he's not exactly a power you, lifter anymore. I'd rather not look at you. Yeah, I, I tell you what. There's no looking at you. Presley. I mean, the chops look good, though. I got. I mean, it. everybody looks at me. Come on. I'm on my TV 20. It's my TV. It is? It's our TV. Our TV. I don't want to share it. You have to share it. I'm sorry, John. Well, you know, doing a uh, search on uh, Mr. Bowling, you'll find that uh, he, he, he did attempt to qualify for the Arnold Classic. I knew what he was signing up for when he uh, when he went to go to fight the bowling character. Uh, I, I, I don't know that he did. He's really new to the business also. Oh, the, big elbow. That was like a tank going into him, though. Oh. Oh, he's I think, a comeback. I, I think Bowling over. did more damage to himself by running that fast into the man. I would assume that he did. I think he acted a little too early. He's paying for it currently. He is paying for well, uh, Maybe oh. he spoke too soon on that. Oh, yeah. This oh. guy is double strong. Oh! oh. Now that's a monster. Wow, there. that is that is a that's monster of a man right there. Right, come on, I gotta tell you, that was it. I would hope that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, he's bringing back up. Is... Oh, he, I'm speechless. He goes to the guy's eye. Oh, look at that. He's, he's using those full fists. I don't know why the referee. Is... The referee's allowing it. I think he, it. he probably knows that that. Turn them inside out. That was, that was. I insane. think he almost broke the ring. This Bowling man is impressive. He's ready. He's going for the kill. Wow. He smells the blood in the water. I, I really it's like where this gut. guy's going. I tell you what, he, he's a great Take addition to this uh, roster. Oh, got him up. Just got him up. Great. Right, look at that. Oh man. Big jackhammer. You have, you're not waking up after that. Two. Three counts. Oh. Uh. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner of this match, John Bowen, with an impressive victory. Unknown, weight unknown, face unknown. 
as usual, still very little known about this man. The only thing I know is he's dangerous. As we're, as we're leading into this match, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to MPW Collision. I am the mouse, the voice of MPWA, Stern McDonaldson, alongside of Brian Shawa, our promoter, Presley. and the journalist. Broadcast journalist. So yeah, we got a we got a big match going here tonight. Chris Moore, unknown mass superstar. And I tell you what, you're getting in the ring and tagging with a guy like unknown mass superstar. I'm not even sure I would trust being around him. I wouldn't trust him at all. Telling Chris Moore, the young Chris Moore, the powerhouse that he has, what to do. I wouldn't trust I wouldn't trust the unknown mass superstar as far as I could throw him about Chris Moore. And I believe Chris Moore could throw him pretty far. I think, I think you're right about that. But is it better to have the unknown mass superstar on your team? It is better if he if he's a team, the if, ring from if he is a team player, yes. Because what once he hits that sleeper hole, the it's fact, absolutely old. But the big that's, factor is will he be a team player? Chris Moore already the match hasn't even started yet. He is a very egotistical, very, very full of himself. And He's full of a lot of again. things too. Ladies and gentlemen, check out Rick Ford. And this man, Rick another. Ford. Wow. You know, I, I was talking about it last week, but this guy is just muscle. And with, along with Owen Travers, these two. Owen Travers, your, your superstar. Hollywood superstar. Himself. He is a Hollywood superstar. I like yeah, this guy. I like Owen Travis. He's a good guy. He's a good. He's a good role model for the kids to look up to. He is absolutely a good role role model for the kids. I tell you. And Thornton, that is a good team right there. You got the you got the size of Thornton, and you got the quickness and agility of Owen Travis. That is a, that is a that, good that's, combination. That's a combination. That's a heck of a team. But, but on the other master. side, they got the unknown man superstar who's the master of the slip hole. You got Chris Moore, who's just powerful. I mean, what else can you say? You know, in my book, as of right now, we the MPWA does not have a tag team title yet. If we did, I think this would be a good. Uh, this would be a championship. This would be a championship. Match. Be this would be a championship match. caliber match right here. Thank, thank you for finishing my sentence there. I believe I, I appreciate it. You're welcome. Sometimes I get a little flustered. These guys, you know, just this energy in here just kind of gets to me. And I can understand the excitement. A match like this. And the fans absolutely like They love it. Field. I'm you getting You've betting all over this Midwest area. Are you guys ready? Yeah, two, two other Titans in the ring. Oh, the lock horns. Oh, Chris Moore, he's too much for him all and always, Trevor, Trevor's always, you know, somehow ends up in that superhero pose. I love it. He's always oh, aware. You, know, you gotta watch the other man superstar. That, that is your uh, your X factor. Again, for, for everybody involved, including his, his tag team partner, because he doesn't know if the unknown man superstar you know, is gonna moves. be on his side. Moved by, you can do all the moves you want, but when, when you lock horns with Chris Moore, you oh. out. Yep. There's nothing fancy about Chris. No, he's a he's a brawler. You've seen Rocky III. He's very much like Clubber Lang. He just comes to the ring. You know, look at him. He's in his black he just black wants to tie. Beat people up. He has very little showmanship. He's just he's straight to business. That's what he is. And I tell you, the, the, the way this kid moves is amazing. He's from one side of that ring. Oh, here we go. Oh, here comes Powerhouse. Right look, there. I think Big we're gonna have a just this double team move with him, two guys. Two men. We have a nice double team move there. Oh, and the referee should yeah. be referee getting on this double it. team. It's too much. Oh, oh, come it. on. on. The, the, fear, the fear in Moore's face, just looking up as, yeah. as oh, the superstar, the Hollywood superstar was coming off. Where they looked at the referee's face. He's, he's, he's up for business. Calling for it. This is big the elbow pad is off. Oh, big forearm. Clubbing forearm to the back. Two, three, that's it. Unknown mass superstar has no chance. He didn't even step in the ring. And it, it, Mass Superstar doesn't even make it into the ring. I'm, you know, I'm glad that the unknown Mass Superstar didn't get in the ring. That's incredible. 
That was that was a that's a godsend for all of us. If you look at him, that superstar, superstar looks pretty mad. Turning his back. Owen Travers. Just, on his partner. I don't think the unknown man superstar really cares. I don't think he really. No. His heart wasn't in this match. He did it. I tell you what, right now I. This was a handicap match. I it was it was almost it's almost like that superstar. This kid never got a chance to make the tag. Now where you going to that superstar? Do you get help with the phone? Our man, our no man superstar had a plan for the day. He is not happy about this situation. Chris Moore, I would not trust him. Hey, here we go. Hey, this is the part I was like, oh, wait, you know, wait, wait, wait. You know what, guys? Uncharacteristic of him. I'll give him credit. That's an uncharacteristic. Oh. Yes! Yes! Of course. I spoke too soon. We absolutely did. Spoke way too absolutely. soon on that. For as big as the mass superstar is, go ahead. Oh, he slammed on that super hole. Sleep, oh, he's got it locked in. What is he doing? He's got it locked in. We got to go to the commercial break. We got this locked in. Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned. Got locked in. More important than this, people. Doesn't get more epic than this. This is. I would dub this Clash of the Titans. Finally, we're gonna see Rick Baker put his money where his mouth is. That's I would right. dub this RoboCop too. No. no. Oh, RoboCop one. Here he is. Big Great. man Titus. To He's looking for the go. cheers in the crowd. Look at the As usual, the guy's looking like a million down. bucks. Before Texas. The fans solid. He is him. solid. That can only get to so far. There Let's he see is. how he goes with the man. Fans Let's see how he goes guy. with Rick Baker. This is this is something we've been all been waiting for. Awesome. Rick Baker's had this this championship since March. And he has the arrogance that he doesn't think that he needs to, to defend it. He, he beat finally everybody. came to a head. And his opponent. He is from Phoenix, Arizona. He stands at 50 minutes and weighs 212 pounds. He is a member of the Grand Turk Dynasty. And You see Johnny and, and, and there of course he, is. he comes out with Bradford representing the dynasty. I wonder is he gonna be alone in this match? Is it gonna be a uh, a uh, un unbeknownst to Titus a tag team match without him with no partner for Titus? I believe this is gonna be a clean bet. I hope it will be, but you always the, the X Factor, the Dynasty is always an X Factor, no matter what. This is going to be an absolute classic. Like this that. is a slobber knocker. Pier Six Brawl, slobber knocker, anything you could call it. A any cliche you could Any throw cliche, it. this is it right here. And it, right yeah. here, you're looking this at This right it. here is the definition of all those cliches. There's These two guys could take on any two guys in the world in that ring today. Yes, they could. You're looking at the champ, Rick Baker, and as much as I don't like him and his ways, the man's talented when he's in that squared circle. Bradford getting on Johnny Bradford, as usual, a little upset with me. He looks a little like Brother Love. He's all red in the face with a white suit on. He does look a little He like doesn't look like, yes. 
Like Brother Love on the Atkins diet. I mean, look, it looks like a zit about the he, pop. He, 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 wants to, he wants to call me out, but he really should concentrate on his man in the ring right now. I think he concentrates too much on his man in the ring. And I get... <laughs> That's not fair. You know, these men need to start realizing that they have to respect the referees. they got to respect the manager, too. He, look, I mean, he's fragile. Oh, he's fragile, all right. But he doesn't need to be there. I'll tell you that right now. Ladies and gentlemen, That's the champ. Doesn't get it more important than this. And we Boy. have the referee for this match is Bradford. Somebody that we don't know. Clutching the belt Bradford. and his racket. Hey guys, what's all that racket? Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, what a good one. <laughs> Raphael there, our referee for this match. I know he's not wearing that heart monitor today. I hope he's over it. I hope he's feeling healthy. It's not a heart monitor, it's a fan cam. And of course. Rick Baker taking to the outside of the ring as usual. Now, yeah, the, the referee has to start the cop. I think that you you really you really made the dynasty fearful when you made this match last week, there, uh, Brian. I, I hope that I did. You put the fear of you fear of God into them because now they know that they have to defend this, this belt. He doesn't defend this or belt. He I'm does. stripping him of that and, title. And as much as I, I support the Bradford dynasty and Rick Baker, no one wants to see this end in a disqualification. Nobody wants to see this, nobody wants to see a disqualification, a run in, or anything. This is. They want to see we, Rick we Baker. We want to see two guys fight it out. Exactly. Rick Baker it, doesn't need the dynasty. I'm surprised I hear all of that from you. Well, sometimes he, you know, even a, even a stop clock is right twice a day. And I akin Mr. Presley to a oh. stop clock. Puts the champ in the in the corner. Oh, oh the champ oh. in a precarious position here. He's being manhandled by Titus. I don't think he really thought this was going to happen. And I, I don't think I what, don't think Righteous Maker's uh, used to being fighting a match by himself anymore. I don't think he is. Bradford consoling Baker. Is he I, waving like a him? good manager should. Uh, yes, he is. He, you know what? He is a good manager. I will say He's that. He's a great manager. But I will say that uh, Rick Baker does not need the dynasty behind him as much as he as much as he does. He could win matches on his own. He doesn't need to taint the matches by having another person helping him out. You know, he, he keeps getting outside the ring, and he he's trying to. Break that count. Break Titus's momentum. Well, it's smart. It he's is. Trying to break his That's why he is a champion. That's part of the reason why he's a champion. Aside from all the help he's gotten, he is a smart man. He's a smart champion. If he gets in the mind of Titus, he's already won the match. Exactly. It's, the matter is, Titus doesn't have the experience that the Righteous Maker no. does. He's got the strength, but he doesn't have the experience I mean, to back the, it up. The Righteous Maker has been to Japan, Mexico, This kind of Canada. competition he's been all over the, the highest level. And looking at Titus, he's frustrated because he wants to get at that man. He's he been all over the world that defending that yeah. title. That title means more to Rick Breaker than anything. I believe anything he owns or any any person. It's like a child to him. Friends, anything. If you if you if he were to lose that belt to him, I believe that's like losing a limb. I, I, he's, yeah. Fun fact. And that would make. And that would make the dynasty that much Rick stronger. Baker spends an hour a day polishing the belt. Finally right, going at it. Here we go. Rick Baker. Sends him off. Oh, oh big elbow. Oh, big what's elbow. this? Oh, big Huge line. Close line. Big, big right Hands behind face. Titus. Oh, whoa. I think Rick Baker knows where he's at right now. You see now the, that was big. You can see the wealth growing in his back from the ropes. That's it. I, Titus is going to take that title. That's what I think is going to happen here tonight. Titus wants that title more than anything. Oh, Rick Baker and Rick Baker Baker broadcast. Oh. oh, and there again, the X Factor. I didn't see anything. The X Factor. Referee I didn't see it. The, you didn't see that. I didn't see it. You didn't see that. I was looking I'm at so tired of these guys. It doesn't matter who saw it. The referee didn't see it. Sad Rick to say. Rick Baker just hits him with that forearm. These. This is the reason why he has the dynasty. This is He's the reason why he has Bradford grabbing the belt. Oh, he has oh, bad on. intentions. I believe he always has bad intentions. Duck the belt. That's awesome. Thank God. The referee that grabs cost the belt. Him serious damage. He's trying to take it away. That could have cost him serious damage. Yeah, no, the, the referee's fighting with Rick Baker over the Let belt. the belt go. You know, these men have to, they just have to realize. Come on. That you have to have respect for these referees. For that belt. Oh, big deal here. Let's get another referee out here. 
Titus could already be the champion right I, now. Right now, this is it. This, this is, is it, it, boys. He's going to he's going to finish him right no, here. Don't here do it that. is. Here it is. No. Looks like a big Spartan slam set up. Here it is. Oh, oh it's Spartan. over. And he's That's got it. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Impressive. Alex Raphael back in the ring holding the bell. I, I, grabbing the arm. What? Wait, 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 what's going on? Wait, wait, Raphael. Wait, Raphael. Wait, Raphael saying it. Wait a minute. This, what? Raphael saying it. We have to wait. He is, Raphael is the, the official for the match. That's true. He is the signed official to make. What is it? What is the, what's the referee saying? Let's listen to Robbie. So, what are you freaking saying? By your referee's decision, Titus wins the match, but does not become the new FBWA champion because he wins by... Yes. Wow. Yet again, more shenanigans. I, I guarantee you. The, the problem with that decision is it's a right decision at the wrong time. It is the right it's decision. The right decision, decision you pay this guy to enforce the rules, and he you did just that. That's the wrong decision. That is, is a travesty. It's, it's the right, the right decision. decision. It is the right decision. I have not trusted Alex Raphael. I mean, usually. And I think this is more shenanigans.